a steer is a cure. Maybe they will find a cure one day. And if they do, I will be completely honest with you. I will opt out of getting a cure. I don't feel the need to because diabetes and gastroparesis is controllable. And with something, there always comes complications. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You can tell from the thumbnail, I will be talking about my life with gastroparesis. I have already done a video, well, two videos, life before gastroparesis, life after gastroparesis, and now life with gastroparesis. I am happy. I am at peace with both of my conditions. Before being diagnosed with gastroparesis, I was diagnosed with gastritis. Mm, could I have avoided being diagnosed with gastroparesis? Possibly, but I'm more than sure it would have happened sooner rather than later because, again, I did not control my blood sugars. I rarely took my insulin. My diabetes just wasn't in control. And for those of you that do not know, gastroparesis is a complication that comes from type 1 diabetes. A few tips that I can give you to avoid flare-ups is control your blood sugars, take your insulin, watch the food you eat, take all medications instructed by your doctor, and I highly suggest that you ask your GI doctor about Domperidone. Domperidone is a medication that I take that is from Canada. It is not FDA proof in the U.S., my gastroenterologist, she fills out my prescription and she sends it over to a pharmacy in Canada. I call it in and I get it filled. It's not covered by insurance. Five month supply of that is $163. And you take it for breakfast, a snack, for lunch, for a snack, dinner, before a snack. Even if you do not eat, you should still take it three times a day. I cannot stress this enough. You have to remember everyone's journey is not the same. Everyone's body is not the same. We all may have diabetes. We all may have gastroparesis, but we are not the same. You may be able to eat some things that you can't eat, vice versa. You may be able to eat some things that I can't. Like, for instance, I can't eat grapes. You might be able to eat grapes. I can't eat bananas. They make me extremely nauseous. You may be able to eat bananas. I can't eat peaches. They make me nauseous. But the weird thing about grapes is I can't eat grapes, but my body only tolerates grape juice when my blood sugar is low. So everything is different. Everyone is different. It's not all the same. It's really about trial and error. I don't Don't starve yourself. How else would you know? What can your body tolerate? And that's when the three time rule comes in. You eat something three times, you vomit, just eliminate it from your diet. That's July, made three years with my gastric pacemaker. And I was very skeptical about doing that, but that's another whole video. I can say that it has played a significant role in my life in this journey so far. Another milestone that I am celebrating is. September 9th will be my one year anniversary of being out of the hospital. <laughs> of being out of the hospital. I'm so happy. The help of my mother, my doctors, it's just, it feels good. After being diagnosed with gastroparesis, I was frequently in the hospital every other day. Some days I was staying there for days and weeks. And at one point in time, my goal was just to be home for a week, two weeks. And then I started doing a month, two months, three months, four months. And then now I'm at a year 
So it's just like, wow, God is good. My support team is good. My doctors are excellent. My doctors are amazing. They are heaven sent. We also made it our business, we as in my mom, my doctors, to figure out what is sending me back to the hospital. Some days I would eat an apple and then maybe two hours later, I'm bobbing crazy and three hours after that, I'm in the hospital. Then my mom, she set an appointment with my GI nutritionist. And she was like, you know, after being discharged and everything, she said, how about you try eating an apple without the skin? Try eating potatoes without the skin. Try eating cucumbers without the skin. After doing that, no more flare-ups, no more vomiting episodes. And I also noticed after I ate regular oatmeal, I would vomit, end up back in the hospital, had another appointment with my GI nutritionist. She was like, try eating instant oatmeal with almond milk. No whole milk with almond milk. And then try that. And it worked for me. And it started flowing. So you just have to know the ins and outs. Like I said, do not starve yourself. How else would you know? what's going to work for your body but I'll do another video on the foods that I eat. As for my blood sugars, my blood sugars took a while to be in control. My It was literally like when I had my Dexcom you would just see it go up, down, up, down, up, down and it just took a while for my blood sugars to be in control. If it wasn't L-O, low, it was H-I, high. There was like no in between. And I was so skinny to the point that I were only I was only taking three units of Lantus. Three units of Lantus. That's how skinny I was. And I was to being I was vomiting frequently, I was always dropping and dropping and dropping. My mom went through several gone pens because that's how low I drop. Life with diabetes and gastroparesis is not bad. It's not the end of the world. You can live with it. You can live your life. As I said before, you can live the life that you deserve. You can be happy and healthy. You just have to live your life with responsibility. Don't be in denial. Accept the fact that these are lifelong conditions lifelong friends that you're going to have for the rest of your life. Yes, there's a cure. Maybe they will find a cure one day and if they do, I will be completely honest with you. I will opt out of getting a cure. I don't feel the need to because diabetes and gastroparesis is controllable. And with something there always comes complications. They, they cure my diabetes. Next thing you know, I'm taking 50 to 70 pills a day to keep it. My liver and lungs and all that. I'm not. No, I'm good. I'm good. Let me take my insulin. Let me take my Dom Peridone. Let me wash the foods I eat. I don't need you to cure my diabetes or my, my stomach. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, it, it's okay. You only have the mentality that gastroparesis and diabetes is bad when you claim negativity when you claim negativity that's what it's going to be if you want positive you have to claim positive all paths and journeys are unique you you may see me up happy healthy but there are still days that i have episodes when i'm really nauseous when i'm nauseous I stay to myself. I don't want to put that negative energy on anyone else. Take the medications as necessary. I don't want this to be such a long video. So I'm going to end this video with a prayer. And I, I pray for my gastro warriors. I pray for the world every day. It just so. I'm, I'm going to pray. Father God, I ask that you continue to bless us, strengthen us, give us motivation, courage, release all toxic energy from this earth, protect us from all evil. Please continue to guide those that need guidance, bless those that need it, because you continue to bless us with your grace, your well-being. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Thank you for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. You can also like my Facebook page, The Fearless Butterfly, my Instagram, The Fearless Butterfly 01. And I made a YouTube. I don't have any followers. I talk very actively on there to myself. So any followers. Fearless B01. Again, Fearless B01 is my Twitter. Bye, guys.